let us throw the shape of body two, which is in pure rolling contact with body four at points A, B, C. So uh, we'll just be considering these two points, these three points, one, two, three, and uh, of course with uh, in addition to A and B. So with this one, we can make this arc, and this triangle arc also around this O2. And then we can measure that length and transfer it in. That is the length. And then again, we can strike another arc and strike an arc on the other side using that particular point as the intersection of the type of centers. And uh, transfer this line here. And uh, again, this one, another arc here. And transfer this length here. And uh, we can make this uh, uh, outline. And finally, for this one, another part here. And transfer this length here. So this is the shape of body 2 in contact with body 4 for that particular part, AP. And uh, BC is uh, just the same as AB. So we can just make a mirror image of this particular uh, body here. So with that, we have this as uh, the body uh, of two, which is in pure rolling contact with A, B, C of body four. Now, we go to another case, that of a sliding contact. And the sliding contact is uh, not uh, only for you, just for uh, sliding contact, but uh, we uh, must consider a shape which is uh, which are conjugate to each other. That means uh, uh, the shape of body two has a conjugate profile when it comes in contact with body four for the particular portion. So again, let us make use of uh, these points. But this time, we have to determine of course, we have to be specific with, uh, with regards to our uh, constant, uh, our ratio of omega 2 over omega 4, which must be constant. And uh, for our particular case, we want it to be equal to 1. And that means our fixed point must be in the middle. And the fixed point will allow us to draw our pitch circle. So the pitch circle now uh, can help us determine the shape of our body 2, which is in conjugate with body 4. So uh, let us first have this one. When this particular point is at a pitch point, that uh, point in body 2 must be somewhere here. And uh, if we have to transfer it here, that point now is somewhere here. Next, for uh, this case, if we have it here, then we can always, we can just uh, transfer the particular point here. For this case, when this is in contact with body 2, we can uh, put it here. Uh, this is, uh, this is to be transferred here. And uh, uh, we can now make this arc. And uh, of course, this same arc, uh, the same arc along the pitch point, can be equivalent to this, will have to be equivalent to this, and this, this particular distance will give us our point here. And finally, for this one, we can transfer this here and locate that particular point and have it equivalent to the point. That particular point B must be in contact with this point. So with that, we can easily draw the shape of this. And uh, uh, getting the other image, we can just have the shape of uh, body 2, the half of the other half of body 2, which is in conjugate with uh, body 4. So we remember that the uh, conjugate profiles are the basic uh, 
uh, foundation, the basic, very basis of the shape of gill teeth. And uh, knowing or understanding conjugate profile is uh, a way of understanding how gills are operated. 